Hi guys, um, I'm in the car and we're getting ready to drive down to the operating engineer training facility. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to meet our battery. for our electric car plan. to have the right machine for the job. All right guys, so right here is our lithium battery pack for our electric car project. And uh, all the way from Israel. So let's see where to start. Uh, the story on this pack, if any of you watch EVTV, you'll know. Uh, I want to thank Jack and all the gang at EVTV for getting this to me. Uh, I especially want to thank Jack for procuring such items in bankruptcies uh, and making them available to the DIY community. So <clears throat> where to start? This pack came from, well it originated in Japan. Automotive Energy Corporation I believe is the name of the company who manufactures these. And it contains the same cell modules as the uh, Nissan LEAF. From, from there, it went to a place called Better Place in Israel. And uh, in uh, May of 2013, I believe it was, Better Place declared bankruptcy. And uh, the pack was intended to be, uh, uh, the way what Better Place did was they set up a infrastructure of charging stations and pack swap stations and then what they did was they uh, the car that this pack is intended for is the Renault Fluence ZE and uh, you could buy one of these cars for about uh, the, the what I have read on the internet is is you could buy them for under the price of a gasoline car and then you paid um, a fee, a monthly fee to have the right to get your battery pack changed out whenever you wanted or pull up to a charge station and charge. So that didn't work out very well, not surprisingly. And um, the place went bankrupt. So it was sold, broken up and assets sold. Jack and EVTV bought 72 of these units and um, brought them here to America and uh, sold them all in four or five days. And I am one of the lucky few who ended up with one. I think it's the deal of all deals ever been made on lithium batteries. We paid $3,600 for this battery. It is a 24 kilowatt hour battery. <coughs> It will give our car a range of between 90 and 100 miles 
depending on our usage per mile. Uh, I project it to be 250 watt hours. So that would put us at 96 miles. Um, and that is double the, uh, the range I was um, literally expecting uh, to build the car as. Um, Jack mentioned this on EVTV on the 1st of November um, that he was trying to get a hold of some of these things. I've held off purchasing cow gray cells that I were going to use for my car. And, uh, and this became one of those wait and wait and wait and wait deals. Uh, you know, every week it was, they should be here in two weeks. And through all kinds of shipping troubles and things like that, they finally arrived at EVTV last week. And today's March the 7th. So they got there right at the first of the month. And, uh, and we got ourselves, we got our grubby hands on, on one. And one is all we need. Um, let me show you a little bit about it. Um, to give you an example of what kind of a deal we got, the if we were to do a battery pack in Calb Gray cells, the same size as this one, uh, money-wise, we would be talking probably in excess of eleven thousand dollars. This was thirty-eight hundred and sixty-two dollars to my door. And uh, so we're at a third of the cost and we have, although it's not a lithium iron phosphate uh, chemistry, it is a lithium manganese oxide uh, chemistry. Um, it doesn't pack the punch of a lithium iron phosphate cell. <clears throat> And it doesn't have the cell life, the cycle life of a lithium iron phosphate cell. Um, our cell life, um, I read on the internet where the Better Place people were saying that they thought they could get 2,000 cycles out of this. Jack says 10 to 1,200. Uh, I'm going to tend to believe Jack before I believe those yahoos over in the Middle East. Um, so th that's the downside uh, of it, but we have such a large pack, uh, it's going to produce more power than our controller can handle, so we're going to be able to feed our controller fully, and uh, it's going to be uh, hopefully a, a nice situation, and, and in, in fact uh, we're going to um, draw 650 amps on our controller and uh, I think this pack will do it um, we can we'll be able to have a hundred three 120 volt strings of 65 amp hour cells in parallel so that'll give us a 195 amp hour uh, pack and uh, that would only be just a little over 3c 650 amps and I believe these cells will probably do it although I haven't seen them tested yet um, so I think uh, probably the next thing to do would be to take it apart uh, let's take it apart check it out let's check the voltage on it uh, the one that Jack took apart in the show last week was it looked and appeared brand new uh, this one does not appear to be brand new um, but, you know, we bought them as is, where is, there's no service, no warranty, no nothing. Um, you know, that's part of the, part of the, the good deal. And it makes me a little bit nervous, but I also don't think that Jack would ever intentionally uh, jip anybody. So, immediately upon removing the shell, um, I'm noticing uh, we got a couple dents in the casing and we have some red paint on the top these are not terminals these are uh, pilot pins um, let me explain this bottom piece of aluminum here 
is actually the bottom of the car. You can see the rubber seal here to seal the unit as it goes up into the bottom of the car that would be the floor or bottom of the car these are locating pins I'm sure uh, to locate it at the top and as you can see there's some red scratches and some red paint here and here you can see some flakes there so I'm thinking this has been in a red car uh, you can see a couple dents maybe here and here I see a couple on top there and I also immediately notice that the disconnect plug is supposed to be mounted in here I'll be upset if it's not installed into the battery pack I'm gonna to have to assume it is and that would also mean that the battery pack has been slightly used the rumor is that they tested 30 cars um, or no they tested 10 cars and 30 different battery packs and none of the cars were driven over a thousand kilometers so some of the packs may have a few hundred kilometers on them and this would appear to be one of them so um, I don't know if I'm expecting I'm probably not even expecting it to be fully charged uh, because of that um, unless they plug the car in but I'm thinking they were probably um, just uh, testing and and uh, for whatever reason and maybe not charging but uh, we won't know until we get it apart so the next thing I'm going to do is get it apart for you guys. And you see we got some Israeli dust here, no doubt. So there's a tag on the side. Property of Reno. Um Boy, that sucker's come a long way, more than halfway across the world to land on my little postage stamp. So, all right, I'll cut this off and um, <clears throat> we'll take it apart because there's no, I could probably use my engine crane to get it out, but uh, I may just take it apart inside the plastic case there because it's a little higher off the ground than it would be if I was to put it on the ground so uh, let me get busy and uh, we'll get back with you guys